Hey Naturals, um, it's Tea Breezy, or Tea, or Breezy, whatever. <laughs> um, I just want to come and let you know why I decided to make this channel. Um, I made this channel because I'm newly natural. And with me being newly natural, I know there's a lot of other people out there just like me. Um, really don't have, you know, a lot of knowledge about it. I mean, based other than what I learned about on blogs and other things like that. But, you know, the whole world is kind of new to me still. I mean, I've totally gone in head first, dive right in, love it. But it's still, you know, it's still new to me. I'm not, you know, a pro at this game. So I figured there's got to be people out there like me. Um, you know, there's a whole bunch of other channels. I mean, I could be one of the hundreds, but I th thought I'd give it a go. So, just to give you a little info about why I decided to go natural, um, about two years ago, about a year and a half ago, um, I read an article about women in their 30s and how they, their hair changes in their 30s, like it starts to fall out, it starts to thin, and at that point, I was still nat, I was, uh, had a relaxer, and it freaked me out, because I was almost 30, <laughs> so it freaked me out, I was like, oh no, I don't want to lose my hair, Ugh. so... I decided that I was not going to get any more relaxers, just like that. I mean, at that point, I had had relaxers for about 10 years, and I was okay with it. My hair, you know, it started off, you know, longer, you know, past my shoulders, and it just progressively got thinner and shorter, and then I would cut it, And but I had never gone natural, so to speak. So I decided no more relaxers. Now, mind you, when I did that, I had no clue about natural hair or going natural. I just knew that I didn't want any more relaxers. I had no plan, no game plan, no goals, nothing. And when I look back on it, I wish I had known more. Or I wish I knew then what I know now because then maybe I would have, um, I would have transitioned a little bit better. I would have known more about transitioning. So... Um, I just started growing out my hair. I was still getting weaves. I was still getting my hair pressed. I was still doing all of those things. And I had no clue, you know, that if I had, you know, taken a little bit of better care with my hair, it would have grown a little bit better. I wouldn't have uh, had as much breakage as I did. And also, I wouldn't have had some of the heat damage that I'm still suffering from that I still have on some of my ends, like especially in the front. Um, so, anyway, um... About the summertime of this year, I decided to go and just do my, my low-maintenance, easy-maintenance hairstyle, which, it, which were my Bantu knots. I always did that when I really didn't feel like, you know, getting my hair pressed or sitting the, under the dryer, blah, blah. I just did that overnight, woke up, let it out. Loved it. So I did it for the first time um, for the first time this year or in the summertime. And when I did it, for some reason this time, it was really dry. I mean, like, really, really dry, like, like hey dry my hair was so dry and I had no clue what to do so I contacted a friend of mine who had went natural and was natural for about a year still had no clue what going natural was but um I thought maybe she would have some insight because she had just started her blog and all these kinds of things so I went ahead and she told me a few things to do and it helped so then I started to read her blog I was like well you know what let me check out her blog and then um, on the blog, I saw what, what natural was. And I said, okay, so I guess that's kind of what I'm trying to do. And I said, and so then um, I saw something about curlynikki.com. And I tell you, when I went to that website, it was like, oh, like epiphany. I had no clue, but it just blew my mind. It was like I was in a dark, dark room and you saw a little sliver of light. And you start feeling around, and then you push a door open, and all this light comes flooding in. That's exactly how I felt about the world of natural. I had no clue about it. We didn't have anybody to talk to about it. But that website just opened up everything. It, it gave me insight on transitioning and TWA and all these cute little things and pooing and no poo and low poo, sulfate free, all this other stuff. Things I had no clue about, but still it was really cool to learn about. I know that there was other people out there just like me who, you know, wanted better for themselves, wanted better for their hair. So, immediately, I was all in it. And now, by this time, it's early July of this year, of 2012, 
and I'm like, okay, I love it. I love everything about it. This is what I want to do. I want to start off fresh. I want to cut off all the relaxed ends. I really want to grow my hair. Just natural, low to no heat. Let's do it. So I call my friend uh, Jasmine and I say, okay, I'm ready. I want, I, you know, I'm ready to cut it off. She gives me a time. She says, fine. I cut it off since she is a natural, you know, a natural hairdresser. She um, favors or goes more towards the natural spectrum, you know, people trying to transition or doing their big chops. So I was ready. I said, I'm ready. I'm ready to cut it off. Let's go. So she did. So July 22nd, 2012, big chop. Now, this is about me being natural for or a month and a half since I have big chops. And this is where my hair is. And I love it. I absolutely love my hair. I love my hair now as you can see like I talked about I still have a little bit of ends that have a little bit of heat damage right here and a couple back here but for the most part my hair everything else I love about it I love the curl I love the natural of the fullness I love how it feels I love how it looks I love everything about my hair so that's why I have this channel I wanted to I don't know show my journey and I also you know for other people that are just like me who you know don't probably have anybody around them that um have gone natural um they have a lot of questions that you know maybe I can answer them maybe I can't I don't know but maybe I'm doing something that you might like maybe you know maybe I'm not who knows it's all like it's all in learning that's what you do you just kind of go out there and you see what works for you and it might work it might not work who knows I'm going to do product reviews because there's some products I've already used in my month and a half. I'm trying not to be a product junkie, but there's things out there. I see it and I want to try it. So, oh, I want to try it. See if that works. See if this works. How would this look? I've already, you know, done, you know, a few trial and errors with different products. And I don't mind, you know, showing, um, telling you guys how I felt about it. You know, how I felt with it versus twist outs or wash and goes. Because different products work differently with different things. So, that's what this is all about. Um, I just really just love my hair and I want everybody else to love their hair. I mean, no matter what you choose to do with it, I mean, I want you to be happy in who, you know, in your choices you make and what you want to do. I know I'm happy and, um, I just can't wait to, you know, show you guys, you know, I guess my natural hair world, um, Hopefully, I can upload my Big Chop video. It's not really when my hair was cut, but it was right after my hair was cut. And I can show the video I made before that leading up to the Big Chop, what my hair looked like before I did it. Um, but yeah, you're here along for the ride. So, hope you have some fun. I will talk to you guys later. <laughs> Bye.